Talks, and I am your host. This is our first time going live, and I hope it will work. Uh, if not, you'll be able to catch this on uh, your favorite podcasting app, whether it's Apple Music, Spotify, or whatnot. But I have a very special guest today uh, with me, um, a former student, but also an amazing colleague, young teacher who is just tearing it up down in Texas. We have um, Mr. Nasir Edwards with us today, and uh, welcome, Nasir. Well, um, hi. Um, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, it's a little um, earlier there for you than it is uh, for me. It's about nine o'clock your time. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Nasir is the orchestra director at uh, Langham Creek High School, and that's in the Cypress Fairbank School District outside of Houston. And um, mm-hmm. you, uh, so this is your second year, is that correct? Yep. Awesome. That's my second year teaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so he is a um, proud graduate of Kennesaw State University. Uh, yes. And uh, go I, owls. Go owls. <laughs> Uh, forever an owl here too, uh, and uh, just uh, he he. I was able to to see Nasir really grow um, from the time that he auditioned as a high school senior. He came in and oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, right? How embarrassing! Uh, he, he he came in and you know did his audition, and I was part of that panel, uh, and I just got to see him grow. And then um, it was, I think, what your junior year was my last year at KSU, and then. Your senior year, uh, you're getting ready to, to student teach, and uh, yeah, I like, think it was maybe my freshman year. Actually, I think freshman year that was your last year. Oh, maybe you're right. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are yeah. correct. Okay, and yeah. um, yeah, yeah, and then um, uh, when uh, you were ready to student teach, um, I was yeah. fortunate enough to get the call, and definitely was like, I'm. I'm picking you up. That'd be awesome. So, uh, we had a great time with you at, at, uh, at Alpharetta and, uh, then, uh, you know, you're looking for jobs. I remember, and you were kind of him hawing about a couple of different places and you ended yeah. up down in Texas. Tell us about that. Uh, starting your career down there. Yeah. So I started teaching, what was that? August, 2019. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I was hired as the assistant orchestra director at Langham Creek High School, and um, it's a just a great community, and mm-hmm. I think that's like the main thing they kind of focus on at the school community. Community is important, and yeah, and so the um, our program has around last year I had around maybe I think one forty, one forty one. Maybe mm-hmm. one forty five. Oh, okay. I think that's a <laughs> good have, number. Yeah. So um, yeah, and then. Uh, I also taught the music theory class. And how so many, that, how many you know, classes is our number? And how many so classes we, do you have at orchestra? We have, yeah, we have five orchestra classes and, um, and then where we also teach the music theory class. Oh, okay. So, and um, your team teach all of that. Um, yeah, well last year, yeah, it was mostly team teaching. Mm-hmm. Um, my, uh, co-director, um, last year, Melissa Scheidler, she, um, of course, she led the our chamber orchestra and our concert and camerata orchestra. And mm-hmm. I had the symphony, Phil, and AP Music Theory. Oh, okay. But we both, you know, still team talk. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you know, one is in the back of the class, fixing posture, um, giving some tips, watching bow placement, and the others, you know, in the front of the class. Or cool, we cool. might do some sectionals. We divide up the grading or we're like, okay, we split up the kids and four groups. And we're like, okay, I'll take this, these two groups. You take these two groups. Nice. Great. And yeah. So yeah, it was a good, great, great experience. Um, and then, yeah, I taught AP music theory, which I was, actually, I was really <laughs> nervous about teaching because I was like, Oh, my oral skills. I and then do you, now. and do you remember <laughs> all that stuff from your first two years? Yeah. Like, There's all that, right? Yeah. 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 Um, but luckily mm-hmm. I was able to do this like summer training. I think they, we do like, it's a summer Institute Awesome at, um, the university of Texas at Dallas. Okay. And it was like for three days, um, like three days in July. And I went and I mean, it was, I won't say intense, but it was a great, you know, like refresher and it's like, okay, this is how you start it. 
Uh, this is where you start with the classes, how you get them to, you know, start singing. And mm-hmm. this is how you do dictation. And after doing those like three days, I just felt comfortable. The boot camp. Uh, yeah, it was it was like a young. little boot camp. huh? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I think I got this. And and then thank God they also gave us like, here, use our PowerPoints. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. The, okay. All this stuff. So I didn't have to like create new like lesson plans. Yeah, it was like yeah. already is that there. The, I just is that a to, state of Texas thing or is that uh, uh what was that? Is it maybe, or is it an AP sponsored thing? I think maybe AP sponsor. It was an okay. AP Summer Institute, I think. That's oh, wow. Okay. What I, did. I, I think that's so, I mean, the the person who like taught the classes was like, yeah, use my materials, use all the stuff I do and all nice. the like little tricks and PowerPoints and um, slides and some stuff I would tweak here and there and, you know, made it, you know, fun for my kids yeah. or um, made it, you know, where they could understand it. But all the notes and like PowerPoints I would use yeah, from what great. I got. Yeah, having the having those resources will make your life a lot easier. It's uh yes. um you know, yeah. I think that's that's what method books try to do, but you know, it doesn't always cover mm-hmm. all the bases and it doesn't definitely it, it's definitely yeah. uh, there's a lot of teaching style and um you know, just situational things that go into teaching orchestra, but that's cool with the, with the theory to, to have all those resources, to have all yeah. that given to you. And then that training and they provided all of that, yeah. you know, just to get you going. Uh, it, it's always scary jumping yeah. into a situation that you just aren't sure. Uh, one, if you're ready to do it and two, like, where do I begin? You know, that just having that yes. gives you, <laughs> having that gives you that peace of mind for sure. Cool. That's yeah. great. So tell us uh, yeah, uh, a little bit about your, you know, how it's gone for you. I mean, obviously you started, mm-hmm. you started your first year teaching in one of the weirdest years ever. And then your second year <laughs> yeah. teaching is probably even weirder than the first one. So, uh, you know, yeah. did, oh, did, I mean, did it, did it, uh, did you just tell us like as how you felt as, you know, kind of went through being you know, last year and, you know, ha- having to, you shut down and then this year starting up and how your situation was and you know if you had how many kids you had face to face and how that worked tell us tell us a little bit about how that worked for you yeah because being a young teacher like, so, I, like mean, I can't I imagine guess... i can't imagine coming in as a brand new teacher and like here's my first oh, year of man. teaching like everybody's <laughs> first year of teaching is always going to be weird but this is just like yeah off the charts tell it us was, yeah it was crazy <laughs> so i mean i maybe i could start with like right before the pandemic yeah um um, we had just, um, went, we just went to our, you know, our spring trip to Disney. Okay. And, um, so, and you know, you're like hearing things, you're like, oh, well, you know, it could, it's probably going to be gone in like a month or whatever. And, <laughs> we all thought, that. you know, yeah. I, I did not even think that this was going to last until now, but mm-hmm. you know, once we, and yeah, we went to the, um, Disney, like right before our spring break and that, it was like maybe the last time I saw the kids. Right. I was going to say like, <laughs> like the last time you were you know, allowed face to, to, face, to, full to face. travel. Right. Yeah. And yeah. travel and everything. And after that, it was, you know, oh, well, we'll take a week off. And, you know, and then it just kept getting, you know, worse and worse. It was like, okay, we're not you know, going to go back to school. And mm-hmm. you have to. Um, and the district was pretty easy, which is like, okay, let's just make sure the get, kids have like some like one grade per week for until the end of okay. the school year and, you know, give them plenty of options. And my, you know, in um, orchestra, we gave, I think we gave like three options. You could do, you could like write about some music. Um, like you had to listen to mm-hmm. like a classical piece or some, uh, and, you know, write about it. And then the second was, you could send a recording of like a scale or some music. And then the third option I can't really remember. It was such a long time ago, but, you know, we gave those three options for the kids, you know, get grades in and kind of in the year. And, um, and then, you know, in the summer, it was kind of the same thing. And sadly my, um, my co-teacher, she decided to res- resign and, okay. you know, I definitely supported her decision because, you know, she just had a baby, yeah. um, like the summer, <laughs> the summer of the pandemic and, um, you know, just people have to, you know, sometimes choose things to, 
um, for their family and everything. And so I had to kind of, you know, step up and be the, basically the head director, like my second year. So, um, you know, getting into, you know, the next school year, um, August of 2020, the district is, you know, saying we're going to have to do hyper teaching and all of that. And um, our district fine arts um, administrators were their yeah. their main thing was try to make this year as normal as possible as you can. Um, we still want concerts if you can still do them and if you feel safe to, um, if you can do socials, if your principal can allow, you know, if you can have socials to help with retaining and um, just try to make this year as normal as possible. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, um, you know, I'll try. <laughs> and of course, trying to prove that to my pre- um, my principal, not president, <laughs> my principal, that, you know, yeah, I can be the head director. So I am, um, we're luckily enough at Langham that we have a booster club. And so I went to those parents and I sent out a Google form mm-hmm. um, to our, all of our parents. Like, how do you feel about your kid having concerts? And um, do you want concerts? And I mean, yeah. <laughs> our parent, my parents, I, I know how they are, but I didn't get a lot of um, parent feedback, but I think I might have got maybe 20 parents okay. um, responded. And, um, and the majority said, yes, we want concerts. Um, and the booster club board, they were like, yeah, I think we should do, you know, concerts. So I, I planned on, I know a lot of people didn't do a fall concert. So (laughs) we were maybe one of the few schools, um, to start with a fall concert. And, um, so we, and it was, was it, was it successful? Like, did you have a good turnout? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my first, the first concert we did, I just had the kids um there and we did a live streaming through zoom and i have just a great fine arts team um our um, head theater teacher helped me out with the live stream okay with that and getting the sam- camera set up and the parents and this, yeah. um and i'm, I'm and getting zoom, a i got a, a message here that uh our live stream people can only hear me <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out what's going on uh, right now, Uh, but uh, we'll keep going. And I'm recording this, obviously, so you're getting recorded. And we will be able to put this on the regular podcast, but uh, this is the first time it's a trial. And apparently uh, they're not not hearing uh, anyone but me, me, which is annoying. So I'm sorry out there if you're listening live. You can just hang up and... uh, (laughs) We'll, we'll get this going. We'll get this going on the uh, on the regular podcast, uh, you know, post audio. Yeah. Uh, but uh, keep going. So, yes. so the concert. So, sorry, the concert. I mean, you live streamed it, and um, did were you able to see? Yeah. Like, did I mean, were you able to have any audience or only live stream? Uh, we yeah, fall concert we live stream, and then the winter concert, um, <laughs> the district allowed us to have live audiences, even though okay. I felt like everything was getting worse, but. <laughs> they felt comfortable, you know, having live audiences. So our winter concert, we had a live audience and the live stream. Great. And um, yeah, we've been having live audiences ever since um, that winter concert. Um, so, and yeah, this year we, um, we just, it's hybrid teaching and most um, at the start of the school year, of course, I think, my biggest class was maybe in person was 15 kids. Okay. And that was my uh, third group, my Philharmonic group. And had, that's, you know, some freshmen, sophomores, mostly freshmen and sophomores in that class. Right. And, um, but yeah, uh, I think my smallest class was five in person. And then the rest was online out of like 30. So maybe I'll just go by class by class. So, yeah. My first class, second period symphony, they had maybe 13 kids in person. And then is that, is the that your youngest online. level of class? That this is the second group. So second this is group. the okay. like non varsity um, under our chamber uh, mm-hmm. group. So mostly juniors and seniors in that class up a little bit right now to maybe like 
16 kids now. Okay. Um, but, you know, as the year kind of progressed, each cl- class did get bigger. And then uh, my next class after that, Philharmonic, that's the third group, uh, mostly sophomores and freshmen in mm-hmm. that group. And um, that was the biggest class. And it's still the biggest in-person class. Uh, it started, I think, right at 15. And now it's maybe like 23 so in person. Got, okay, so you've had more come back throughout the year. Yeah. Yeah, mine hasn't, um, mine hasn't been that much different. I mean, I got a few here and there, but no, nothing, yeah. nothing drastic. Yeah. Um, and then my next class after that, the fourth period chamber there, the top ensemble. And um, they started, I think, around maybe like nine, nine players in person. And mm-hmm. then it's up to, I think, probably like 12 or 13 now. And then the rest online. Okay. And um, yeah, so it's, we've, and each class, I think it's, we've lost <laughs> Some people like some people started on um, in person and then they went online. Um, so mm-hmm. and then my concert orchestra, that's the fourth orchestra, mostly freshmen, a couple sophomores. Um, and that was the smallest class in the beginning. <laughs> Got it. And it had five kids in person. And when, you know, I think we got the news in like December, November, we were like, they told us we had to do UIL and I was like, Ooh, okay. So it's going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to do some, some shifting because um, we also had auditions last year and, yeah. you know, it was just so hard with auditions, like virtual <laughs> um, recording auditions. I know your kids are used to it because. Right. I mean, that's what we've that been, we've been doing before. virtual auditions <laughs> for uh, several years. Um, and yeah. uh you know, for me, it's kind of, it's nice to have that permanent record of what they've done mm-hmm. and kind of that, like, well, if there's ever a question, you can go back and listen to it again, where if you do a live audition, yeah. like, well, I guess they played okay. And you just don't remember, you know? So for me, it was, yeah. it was yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, we had, um, most of our incoming freshmen, they auditioned, um, and, some of them I was surprised because I, we, me and Melissa, we went to the middle schools like often, like we would try to get there, you know, at least once a week. That, oh, wow. Uh, that's nice. Your, your schedule allows yeah. that and the scheduling of the, uh, the eighth grade classes yeah. allows that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And it, it's better when there's like two people. So mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> like one for person, sure. you're like, okay, you can lead all the classes. And, and of course I would come back from music theory. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's easy when there's like two people, one person who, I could not imagine, but I remember yeah. some of the freshmen. I was like, wow, I remember them being, you know, like a great player in middle school. I don't, why are they playing in the wrong key? <laughs> you know, the wrong rhythm. We always wonder these um, things. So there were some kids, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I, or maybe other teachers, but we definitely had some kids who were, you know, in higher orchestras and they should not have been or yep. um, in lower orchestras and they could have been in a it happens. orchestra. So I had to do some reach of thing with some kids and put them in the lower orchestra. And I felt more comfortable putting them in the lower orchestra because, um, which is our camarada group, because mm-hmm. they were not going to go to UIL. Um, they had, some of them haven't been to a concert or some of them I haven't even seen their face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah yeah um so that class now has two kids online (laughs) and the rest in person and it's a class of 18 because i like okay i have the opposite went from like a class of yeah yeah from a class of 30 to 18 and um so and then yeah the next class camarada i think it's kind of stayed the same yes um it started i think maybe like seven kids in person and then now it's like maybe 12 yeah my my uh my chamber group has uh two kids in person and the rest are at home so oh my god i it's so hard (laughs) yeah i and i feel so bad uh, for him close friends her uh husband teaches at a a school just like kind of like yours you know same demographics and they their top group two people (laughs) in person Mm -hmm. i was like oh my god i could not imagine doing that and i mean they had rehearsals after school um you know once a week 
for UIL and everything. Yep. And, but yeah. I just cannot imagine just that's that's know, what we're uh, <laughs> we're doing right now because we're we're pre- planning our uh, spring concert. We're doing it outside, mm-hmm. um, and uh, uh, yeah. yeah, so it's going to be interesting. But we're only having three rehearsals. That's all we can really kind of do, uh, you know, right now. So that's that's the hard part, yeah. and uh, um, it's just going to be two orchestras out of the five. So I'm combining my youngest three uh-huh. and the top two, and uh, you know. It's just motivation right now. I think it's uh, senioritis yeah. is worse than COVID, and uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, I have had kids. Uh, you know, and and I can't blame them. I mean, it's it's something that me. Either. It just it's 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 not the same. And and um, I do have a lot of students at home, and still uh, still about eighty five percent at home. And uh, so it's just we're just trying to get yeah. through this year, and and you know do some good things. We, we're going to do some awards, but we're going to have to do it outside. We just got yeah. authorization to do that, and uh, um, yeah. you know end the year trying to you know uh, pay tribute to our seniors and and all the work that they've done, and send them on their way, and then keep going with the younger folks and get them excited. Hopefully, about next year. That's what I keep telling him. It says like you can get through this. It's only like twenty some more days, and keep pushing yes. forward, get your assignments done. We have a, we have a policy that if the students do all of their summative assignments, everyone, they complete a hundred percent. They don't have to take the final exam. They can, they, yeah. there, there's no final. So I'm um, keep telling my students, I said, I really don't want to give you a final. I know that you want to take yeah. a final. <laughs> so get your assignments done and we'll all be happy. Cause they actually, you know, if they, if they do that in all their classes, they have three extra days of break. They don't have to come in at all for three days. So yeah. It's, it's our <laughs> our school district canceled finals and the back in December and for the spring. Mm-hmm. So there's no finals for anybody and you know and any class no matter what. So wow, okay. That that has I think that has helped um because yeah, I Yeah, definitely better, right? <laughs> yeah, uh to some kids, but yeah, the senior writers this year, it's it's I mean, <laughs> yeah, there were some kids they had checked out right before UIL and even some after UIL, they kind of checked out even more. So, yeah. I mean, it's, but I'm you like, guys, you guys did well at UIL. Yeah, yeah. And for those, for those that don't know, yeah. uh, the Texas, the Texas, uh, lingo UIL is, uh, their version of festival or contest or performance assessment. What does it stand for? University something? Yeah. University. Oof, Inter- gosh, is it know. interscholastic <laughs> league or something it, it's a, it's, yeah, it's kind of the weirdest thing i've ever heard of but but it's basically what yeah. everybody else does it's assessment but it's it's pretty hardcore so tell us how you did yeah we um made sweepstakes for i took three groups and they all made all ones from all the judges that's uh, fantastic reading and um concert uh, congrats and usually we take yeah thank you um usually we take four groups Mm-hmm. And this year I was like, well, that lowest group probably is not ready to do UIL by themselves. So yep. my five classes, I I had chamber play by themselves, okay. um, which I was like, they did great at their fall concert. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're a good group, good kids. I know they can, they don't need any extra, you know, help or sound. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my, so, but. A symphony group i was like Oof. <laughs> i had to that's the second group mm-hmm. and it's you know junior and senior seniors you, you know i think they're a little too cool for school and of course um so <laughs> <laughs> um so that group it's 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 been you know they're a challenge but um i combined them with the fourth group okay um which that class they're their their personalities are almost or literally the same that's good um but you know um they're good players they you know they have good technique they just you know they can be lazy at some times and i mean they're kids but you know with uil they all know that it's serious and you know they've got yeah, work it's, hard it's kind it, of so. the the big thing that you everybody has to yeah pull together to you know make make it good this is our big <laughs> event of the year we did ours uh, virtually we recorded it and sent it in and it wasn't exciting yeah. at all we just did audio um but it was nice uh you know, and the kids, the the judges, you know, at, there was a special sheet this year. The judges asked for, like, what's your situation? 
what are you what are you doing? Yeah. What do you got uh, going on? So that that was nice because yeah. we always could go through and just know that um it was they were gonna they were gonna understand kind of what was going on. And that oh, that's man. exactly I mean what, I think that I think our judges were understanding. I wish we had like some okay, like what's your situation? How many kids do you have in person? How many do you have online? Mm-hmm. You know, because I mean, you never really know until the day of for at least for us. Sure. Um, Because, yeah, I there were some kids. I mean, we had after school rehearsals, but some kids I always gave the online option. So some kids um, only would do the online app option. And I mean, I had some really go getters who would like come to every rehearsal who and, you know, they were online for the school day, but then came after school to rehearse with the group um but yeah i wish <laughs> they would like had a, a write-up like hey what happened and because my chamber group i ended up losing my first chair violist she's a sophomore great player she's improved so much wow but she was quarantined like the friday before we had to record mm-hmm. so i was like oh man i knew this <laughs> i knew something was gonna happen and i mean it's yeah. happened for like most of our groups i've had first chairs just they had to be quarantined because they were, you know, they call it contact trace. Right, right, um, right. Somebody like, had cool. a run, and um, right. so they have to like quarantine them. I think they started with 15 days and then they lowered it to 10. So, okay. But, um, yeah, I was, yeah, I was so lowered too. I wish that that was, but, um, I mean, the kids still, we would have a rehearsal, you know, for like 30 minutes. Um, I would run through the, the piece, check some spots and then kind of, um, just go from there and, hopefully just <laughs> hope for the best but you know the kids still did great and i mean the performance wasn't perfect but um they still did a great job and i think the judges still understood like oh yeah we understand if that might have happened or if you know um i mean there was nothing like you know terrible like oh we just fell apart but we can get through our pieces from beginning to end but sometimes you know there might be that one kid mm-hmm. that might play mm-hmm. a low two when it's supposed to <laughs> I do <laughs> then but, yeah um, yeah so well, but and so yeah, and, and then, then so I, I like uh, yeah like how are you guys ending the ending the year and uh what are you guys working on for mm-hmm. the for for like right now I mean you guys are out before Memorial Day right or you guys go through June into uh, June we're we're into June we, okay my last like <laughs> work day is June 4th got so, it you know that day is like the, the kids I think in June 3rd or something or mm-hmm. June 2nd but <sighs> that last week, <laughs> the I'm big like, sigh. I just come. heard the big sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even come. I'm gonna tell. I'm like, just go online. You can just be online for five minutes, and then I'm gonna end this. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I I don't know, but I know because we did start later, so that's why we're going into June. We started in September, but um, but yeah, we're ending the year with a spring concert, um, and kind of like a spring celebration. So we're kind of combining the banquet and the concert kind of together yeah um and the seniors they picked the theme they picked you know gen z 2000 and 2010s music so we're playing like all pop music like Katy perry taylor swift Lady yep, Gaga, yep. Uh, same um, we're doing a lot of that school. so <laughs> um but yeah i'm trying to you know just make it a great experience for them and um We'll have a little mini reception for our seniors and their two guests that they can bring. Okay. Um, so I'm, um, yeah. And um, I don't know if you know about the, uh, knew about the Texas winter storm that was like happening. Just, just um, uh, a few happened, days, like, like yesterday or the day before? Not yesterday, but like in February. Oh, in February. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When everybody, you, know, you guys yeah. got all that so, snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh man that was well our school was really affected by that like our auditorium got it <laughs> i think it got like four feet of water in there oh no and so yeah we That's had terrible. to you know film yeah we had to film uil in the gym um and or in the commons my top group did in the commons and okay so yeah our spring concert has to be in our the big gym the performance gym so um that's, I'm a little worried about that. I'm like, oh, but I, I think it does give, it does allow a lot of more people to come. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. I am, you know, we're lucky enough to do that. But it, that the other gym that we did record in for UIL, it was 
the the reaper <laughs> and every it was hard to hear in there i had to like scoot some of the kids from the back a little bit closer to the front because it, it's a big gym and okay i know this 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 other gym is even bigger so oh, wow it's been hard to um even here but i think we'll you know um just make it work and um i i think it'll go great because every concert the kids have been you know just on it and focused and ready to go and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we'll kind of we'll just have see how it goes and that's how i've been like this whole year i'm like well we'll see how it goes it is what it is sometimes it's it's not going to be perfect but sometimes it'll, it'll be close to perfect so yeah um, but yeah that's how we're just gonna end the year concert cool. with a little mini reception and then I've, i just gotta get these officer applications done and then auditions and then we are done <laughs> yeah it's still a lot um, to do i i have a lot of auditions to listen to still <laughs> and um, yeah, uh they, they want them uh the next week here so between that and my concerts on may 4th uh it's gonna be a, a busy mm -hmm. week here coming up uh yeah. So uh, I have the the screen up on our um, on our uh, live stream here now that I got the audio working about 15 mm -hmm. minutes ago. Oh, we missed a little bit, yeah. Hey, so it's hey. been working for a little a little while now uh, for everybody. Uh, and if uh, anybody is interested in calling in, we're trying this out for the first time. It's six seven eight nine zero one nine zero three five. It's up on the screen. If you want to try to call in, um, ask a question for me or for our guest. Uh, Nasir Edwards would be awesome to uh, try this out, see if it works. Um, I got a fancy new uh, rig here for <laughs> for doing podcasts, and it includes the ability to take these live calls. So it would be cool. I know we don't have a whole bunch of people up this early, and especially here in Georgia, we're getting all that rain that you guys got in you know, a few days ago or yesterday. Um, all that rain, oh, nasty yeah. storms. Yeah, that's what we're getting right now. So. Um, normally I'd be getting ready for baseball here pretty soon, but no baseball games today mm. <laughs> with my kids. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, while we're, if we're, we're waiting for the, for calls, I guess, um, if anybody's interested, um, tell us, uh, you know, if you, what, what your thoughts are for next year, like what, what you're, what you're thinking about planning in your head, or is it just like, I'm going back everything normal, or are you going to do anything differently <laughs> because of, because of, you know, what we've been forced to do? I think that's, uh, yeah. a lot of people are going to be doing some things differently now just because we've been forced to do it that way. Yeah. Um, well, with Texas, they're kind of just, you know, we have gone back to normal, even though everybody else is not, but our, I don't know about, um, you guys and Fulton, mm -hmm. but I know, um, next year they won't, we won't have to do hybrid teaching, but there are still, um, it's, there are rumors like, oh, we might have a virtual school. Like there was only one school that you can yeah. go to. We're definitely, um, we have definitely a virtual school. They've opened a brand new one. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, uh, going to be 100% virtual and we're not supposed yeah. to be doing any um, hybrid teaching, which I'm thankful for. Yeah. Um, you know, I think if there's, <laughs> if there's students who want to go virtual, they should just do that 100%. But forcing teachers to, yeah. to try to do both, like, I feel like I'm juggling. And, you know, if, if I'm paying a lot of attention to the virtual kids and I, I feel like I'm not paying attention and getting around yeah. my classroom like I normally would do for my uh, my face-to-face -face kids and then vice versa. Yeah. You know, uh, if, if I just teach kids in class and kind of ignore the virtual kids or say, here, just, you're just going to be here to listen and play along, that's not doing them justice either. Yeah. So I just feel like there's really an injustice being done when you have to do hybrid because you spread yeah. yourself so thin. But, um, yeah, you know. it's it's literally teaching two classes at the same time. Right. I just <laughs> it's not um, fun. <laughs> not yeah, fun. It's, it's not fun. No, I'm not going to admit that I cannot wait until. I never have to see another Zoom link. I mean, I'll, of course, I'll still probably use Zoom, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I use it like every single day. Yeah, um, I wish I we were because we're using year, we're using Teams, and it's just the uh, audio part of Teams is terrible. Um, oh, and I'm and so you know, sorry. obviously, that's what we rely on. At least with with uh, with Zoom, you have some decent audio uh, features and audio settings that you can do. But yes. holy cow, it's not that way. Not that yeah. way at all. Yeah, I think some things that I'll um, keep that we kind of just like started in the, um, you know, when all this started is the live streaming mm -hmm. um, 
And, you know, some of um, other programs in our district started doing live streaming before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Um, And it has been a, you know, we started off with Zoom. (laughs) And then I think it was our non-varsity UIL concert. I think right before their couple weeks, the district had changed their Zoom credentials. And so parents couldn't like just log on to the Zoom. They had to like use their students or their child's um, login information. So it was just so rough to like get into the Zoom. So then we um, we moved to Facebook Live. Okay. And I think we did that two weeks ago with my varsity UIM mm-hmm. and that was a success. And I just did it off my iPad. And It's amazing. Uh, that's iPad. what I'm using right now. I, I yeah, uh, I'm using that with yeah, uh, I, I OBS, I which is another it. like software package, which will allow me to use my. Um, I, I figured out what the problem was at the beginning uh, with my interface. I didn't have it on mm-hmm. multi-track mode, so it was only using my microphone rather than yeah. uh, all the channels available on there, and that's that was what the problem was. So yeah. now I have it fixed, and we can take calls, and you can hear you. Wow. <laughs> most importantly, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but. Uh, Okay, so, but there's, there, there's, there's really, I mean, what are some of the things that you think you'll do uh, next year that you maybe implemented this year that, you know, when, um, you're, when you're quote unquote back to normal, that you might still do? Yeah, definitely the live stream yeah. through like Facebook yeah. Live with our concerts. Um, we have booster club meetings once a month, and uh, we'll probably go back to in person, but mm-hmm. we're still gonna keep the Zoom open because the parent. Yeah, they can they can pop and in. Sure. Participation has been so that, much. <laughs> that's amazing. So much because more because parents can just be at home. They don't have to like come to the school because mm-hmm. in past years they've said you know sometimes I'll have booster club meetings and it's only the board members who are there. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> so, I mean that's how most of ours are. Yeah. We mostly have board meetings, yeah. but yeah, we're gonna just we're we'll keep that. I think I'm gonna keep the senior spotlight. Um, mm-hmm kind of tradition going i know that kind of started when the pandemic but the kids they love you know being on social media so we're gonna keep that and awesome um and i think even some of the um kids just got really creative with some of their like socials with um you know having to be at home so yeah um some of those games that they did at some of the socials i think were just gonna you know keep and you know transfer to you know just in person so Very but cool. i think next year i'm gonna try to you know kind of go back you know back to normal <laughs> if we still have to <laughs> wear our masks then yeah. yeah of course i'm still gonna be wearing my mask but yeah you know, i think i i have a feeling we're gonna be doing that for a little while longer yeah um i just don't know when it you know when do we say when you know when when is it yeah. enough when are i mean uh, yeah yeah yeah, that's that's the hard part. And, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, even with my face to face kids, you know, I joke a lot and I I, I think I'm very animated with my facial expressions and uh, them not oh. being able to to see my face has hurt me this year, <laughs> has hurt my teaching, oh. I think. It's, it, I, I think it's made me a little less effective because um, uh-huh. I, I do so much with that and animate and, you know, just, I mean, you're making yeah. eye contact, but it's different. Like the kids are looking at you and you can see them, but what do their faces look mm-hmm. like? So it's, it's not just for me, it's, it's for them too. Like I don't, I can't read them the same way. And, and, um, and I definitely can't yeah. hear them very well, especially my timid kids that are really soft spoken. Like, could you say that again? Uh, you got to talk yeah. really loud with your mask on, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I started uh, teaching with a mic <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this year. So, well, and I, I already think I'm like a loud person, but I, I, this year I was like, okay, with a mask and then, mm-hmm. so I think I'm still going to continue teaching with a mic, even if, um, I don't have a mask. Cause I think I don't want to like always scream. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, I think what else would, but we're going to just try to go back to normal. I mean, I mean, of course I'll try to run everything by my principal. Like, okay, Hey, is this, this is what we have for the year. Are you okay with everything mm-hmm. that's going on? And he's pretty, you know, um, good about just, you know, letting us do some things as, as long as it's safe. Right. And um, so, yep. like this year, I had to ask permission about every single event we had. <laughs> right. Of course. <laughs> that was, you know, that was a lot. The a lot a- of emails. Yeah. The after school rehearsals, yeah, I have a kid taking temperatures. 
even the kids who have been there all day, they have to have their temperature taken. They got to fill out the health screening that, you know, the health screening uh, survey thing that we have. Yeah. And it's, it's just a lot of extra work and, uh, yeah. You know, and we, we're trying to keep everybody safe. And, you know, my thing is I have somebody at home, I think it's a lot of them are very uncomfortable of, you know, coming in. And so I, uh, for the spring concert, I told him, I said, okay, I'm, we're doing the spring concert. We're going to have three rehearsals. You can come to one, you can come to two, come to all of them. Or, you know what? Yeah. You don't have to come to any of them because they're indoor, co- you know, rehearsals, the outdoor, co- out- yeah. outdoors concert. And maybe they, that's the only thing they'll feel comfortable coming to. I just want kids there. And it's, it's yes. not, it's not going to be like a regular concert. We're not going to be as prepared. We're not going to be as amazing, yeah. you know, whatever, but it's the fact that we get kids there. We're going to play. We're going to have yeah. a live audience. We're going to get to hear, you know, some applause and um, yes. <laughs> make it the, make it the best we can. I mean, it, that's the desperation. I think that I feel like I'm in right now is is that. Yeah, so it's it's and, kind of crazy yeah. that we have to feel that way, but it's what it is. It's, uh, yeah, it is, and I think the kids are understanding with that, and mm-hmm. some parents might not be, but <laughs> some kids do. They yeah. understand, and I mean, even the applause thing, like our fall concert, just doing just the virtual, just recording or live stream, it was just so awkward with like nobody in the audience. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. And you I, know, I had my kids do sectionals so the other day. I had my kids do sectionals the other day, and um, I, one of my small classes, you know, I was like, well, you can't do a sectional with just two kids, so or one, one cellist in the rest of her at home. So I had, uh, she's, she's a very strong player and she's very outgoing and Philharmonia in my second class. Um, and she's a, uh, she's a freshman, but she's like, she's got, she's, she's going to be the future star here. Um, looking forward yeah. to that. Uh, so, uh, I had her run the sectional, uh, over zoom, you know, or of, over the teams. And, uh, she, I, you know, she was right in front of me kind of doing it. Cause we had, we had a kind of, kind of an asynchronous sectional day um, where they did their own thing. And uh, I was so impressed with her because you could tell that she felt a lot of the ways that I felt talking to a virtual class. It's like, <laughs> nobody's saying anything, but she's playing and they're and, and you, she could see them, you know, copying her and she had her little headphones on and whatnot. But I was just so proud of her for, you know, taking the bull by the horns and making that happen. And yeah. it was, it was really, really good. So, yeah. Yeah, I've I've had some kids do that. They're just I'm like, okay, just make sure everybody has the same fingering. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Make sure they have the same bowing. Like just double check. Um yeah. and yeah. Yeah, that, that's and kind of all we can do right now. You know? Yeah. Because it's I mean it's hard to just be everywhere at once. Like <laughs> it's just so hard. Yeah. But, um I think yeah, I I honestly think we're just gonna honestly go back to normal and just be the same to stay safe mm-hmm. and our fine arts we're even planning a musical next year so <laughs> and that includes everybody in the fine arts teams a choir band wow. dance, um theater so yeah we haven't even started yeah. planning next year we're gonna probably have to have our meeting soon but uh yeah i mean i i, I want it to be something special for the kids so we are looking at a trip or you know um oh, i um, hope you know if we can do trip. that we're gonna we're gonna plan that and um, just try to make it as special as possible. A lot more social events and uh, things like yeah. that to get the kids pumped up and excited about what we're doing. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, so, that's the hard part. Yeah, I just and I, I mean, I think maybe I'll think about some of the virtual things that we did. I really, the only thing I can really think of is that the senior spotlight and you know more mm-hmm. social media engagement. And, um, but I think next year they're, you know, we're going to just try to do like everything in person. Yeah. And if we have to give a, get a bigger space for something or a bigger space for a social, then, you know, yeah, there you go. We'll have to do that. But yeah, I hope that I think- we have, uh, a newfound appreciation for playing together and, Doing all the things yeah. I think a lot of us, even the teachers took for granted and, and just were mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, this is what it is, but you know, we, I, I, I know I'm going to be more, more appreciative and more thankful for sure. Yeah. So I, I think I'm definitely, if everything kind of opens back up, I'm going to start like emailing like churches, nursing homes, and just like more performances, do you want right. to play anywhere, more yeah. performance opportunities and more like 
volunteer, you know, opportunities. Cause I think some kids just, you know, miss playing with just their friends or no you question. Know, miss playing just in a group. And, you know, I had some kids who they're only, their parents only allowed with solo and ensemble. Cause that's kind of like a small yeah. thing. They didn't let them go to any concerts, but they were like, okay, you can do solo and ensemble. If it's, you know, a trio or a duet and, you know, so, um, but I think most kids, they just really miss playing with other kids and I'm going to just try to have all the opportunities for them next year too, or if it has to be the year after, because I don't know about field trips and everything. They yeah. kind of canceled them this year, <laughs> but yep. Yep. hopefully next year we can do more outside performances. It would be super nice. Uh, it's, it's something that I'm looking forward to and um, you just, you know, that's what's kind of driving me now is that there is, there is that light at the end of the tunnel and we are going to, we definitely, you know, getting through this and that's, that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what it's about. Yeah. So, um, well, anyways, uh, I, I, I guess we didn't get any callers. I, I was, I put it even on Facebook, yeah. like to try to call in, say hi. I want to try this out, <laughs> but, uh, I'll have to do that another yeah. time. It's like a radio it's like, yeah, well, that's what it's supposed to be, you know? And, uh, yeah, so, that's so cool. I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, well we're, again, we're, we're trying this out and, uh, trying to get people actively engaged. I, I know it's early. Some people are probably still sleeping or, yeah. you know, just getting their coffee yeah. right now. <laughs> uh, but that's, and we got, like I said, here in Georgia, it's, it's a rainy, ugly day. So, and then, you know, obviously for you, yeah. it's even earlier, but, um, this year, I really yeah. appreciate you, uh, taking the time to be on the show today, come out. And uh, tell us about yeah. all that's going on with you. I'm super proud of you. Uh, you know, you're 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 killing it down there, and you're um, just all in. Uh, yeah, oh, we have someone calling. It's Sean. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Let me make sure we get you on here. Is, is to this... accept, press one. Oh, I press one. Now, press I'm going to press one. Sean. <laughs> All right, this works. Woo-hoo. I thought I'd see if it would work for you. <laughs> it does. Welcome. This is Sean Morton uh, from Duluth High School. Oh, hey, Sean. Miss <laughs> Ann, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing great. I hope she can Excellent. Hear me. <laughs> I've been enjoying listening this morning. Yeah, this is cool yeah. that you're able to be on here. And uh, um, this is the, the new feature I have on my uh, new rig here, which is it's a lot of fun. And just trying to take it to the next level and maybe uh, get some more engagement. But I appreciate mm-hmm. you being the, our first caller, our first guinea pig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought, okay, let's try it out. <laughs> How, how's it going for you? Yeah, we're doing well. We're just kind of trying to make it to the end at this point. Um, getting there. ready to record graduation music yes. this week. So. Yep. Oh, man. We'll see how that all goes. <laughs> yeah. We're doing one uh, recording from our concert, which is going to be interesting. And then the other one, I'm doing a, just a virtual uh, video, or I'm just doing audio, not doing video, because uh, we're not going to use the video okay. probably. Uh, and, and so, yeah, we're only doing two pieces, and the band is doing a recording of two pieces. We're splitting it this year. Oh. So You guys usually That was do probably a good four, idea. Right? Yeah, we used to do full orchestra, and that's not happening. So we, we, we the yeah. band is so um, so sparsely populated as well. Like he's having trouble just, you know, you think about all the instruments in oh band; God, they have all the troubles. Like you don't have any oboes, <laughs> oh, okay? No. You don't have any oboes, so yeah, we're splitting it up. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> so are you are you doing video or audio, Sean? We're doing both. Okay, <laughs> and. Um, we're doing our normal, we do three tunes. We do the national anthem, the alma mater, and then we do like a class tune. Mm. And um, we're going to give it a whirl with full orchestra, outdoors, and choir. So um, our awesome friend, Tim Anderson, is going to come in and do the audio. Nice. That's great. For us He'll do a great and job. And mix it. And then, yeah, he's fabulous. And then um, we're going to get our AV tech team to do a bunch of video, and then we'll get Piece it all it put together. together so. Nice. Well, that'll be fun. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these kids, I mean, most they'll of the kids fine. are not on campus. So right. um, they'll be coming on campus for the yeah. first time. But we have a really big, like, outdoor space that we can record in that looks pretty nice. So Okay. Okay. Good. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. Good. You know, we've all become, we've all had to become tech experts. And I, I, I think a lot of people <laughs> are, are getting sick of it, though. <laughs> 
Yeah. Mm. You know, when I pick up when I pick up a baton, I just feel like I I want to do this. I want to conduct. I want to be a musician again, and not. I feel like a DJ. You know, I got the the background tracks or the the accompaniment tracks, click tracks, and I'm mixing my. I have two iPads with my music on one and the sheet music on the other, and I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. I think it's definitely been wild. (laughs) this year are you having to put together stuff like that too no we um we usually don't play at graduation usually just the band does that and i think maybe sometimes choir (laughs) and i'm not playing to ask you know i'm just like you know keep but i don't think this year they're um having them play uh, I don't even think they're doing a recording. Mm-hmm. Um, so they okay. might just, they might already have a recording from like years back. Um, so yeah, we're just, you know, we're just doing our spring concert and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. You know, we even abandoned spring concert. We just had so few kids in the building. It was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm going on so, a hope and a prayer just- in line with uh, three rehearsals and, uh, and on, on, I had our, I we had our first fantastic. one last week, first one last week and 13 kids showed up for my top ensemble out of, you know, 55. So I told them, I said, well, this is going to make you feel better if you come yeah. to a rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, the 13 my kids really good ones. <laughs> well, yeah. we had, we had uh, two first violins and then like five seconds and two violas and five cellos and two basses. So it wasn't quite balanced as, as like, as, oh. good, as, 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 I would have liked yeah. it, of course, but, um, you know, the kids, you know, they held their own and they are doing a good job. And my younger group, there were about 21 and, uh, there was a good balance. A lot of freshmen are excited, which makes me happy. That, oh, um, you know, that's they're coming awesome. out. Yeah. So that was really good. Uh, but we, uh, we have one, two, uh, one for each group this week. And then we have one the day before the concert and our concerts May 4th. So see how it goes. Wow. I think this year is a no judgment zone. Anything you do is amazing. <laughs> It's going to yes. fall apart, but it's yeah. just amazing falling apart. No, it's, it's not. amazing because they're just there. <laughs> That's all I care about. That's just all I put care on about. A big uh, Dr. B metronome track and go. <laughs> well, you know, several of the tracks yeah, we've been using, you know, <laughs> probably doing, uh, I, I've, I've created drum tracks from like the drum part cause, and I'll probably use them to be honest with you. So that'll really help I us. Too. Just the drums, you know. Um, yeah. Turn it up real loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a, a big drum concert. There, there were some strings in there. I thought I thought I heard strings in there, but all I could hear was the drums. Yeah. I think they're just going to be so happy to play together. It's not going to matter. I, I think so. I think so. I'm, I'm yeah, looking forward awesome. to it. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you guys, um, well, it's been awesome. We have um, – I'm doing this uh, another podcast tomorrow morning with um, – uh, uh-huh. a, a kind of a non-traditional orchestra string teacher. This is uh, from uh, her name is Jen Wiggins, Jennifer Wiggins. She's a, uh, uh-huh. a teacher here in uh, the Atlanta area. She teaches in a uh, an elementary after school program, and she just started a new company that uh, we'll be talking about too. Uh, it's really cool and interesting. It's a uh, kidsstringbox.com, and it's kind of uh, takes the place of those subscription boxes that you would get, like. My wife subs- subscribes to the Fab Fit Fun Box, and she gets blankets and <laughs> lotions and potions and all that stuff every month. Um, this is for kids' strings, and so she started that, and we'll be uh, having her on the show tomorrow uh, at uh, um, 9 o'clock a.m. to uh, talk about uh, what she's doing and um, her company and uh, give you know our listeners a little something different than just uh, orchestra world, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Yeah, but Sean, thank you again for being the uh, the uh, guinea pig. Thank you, Sean. And it worked out okay. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, yeah, and and you sound good. Fun to talk to you guys. Yeah. So, but I'm sitting around (laughs) drinking my morning diet coke here, and (laughs) there you go. (laughs) That's great. You guys take care. It's good to see you, Eric. At least hear you guys. You too. You too. And (laughs) uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. And, Bye. And Nasir, uh, again, thanks again. Uh, it's been yeah. a lot of fun just catching up. And again, so so happy that you're doing well. And uh, you know, you're yeah. all, you're all, you've almost made it through probably what are going to be your weirdest two years, your first two years, and yeah, everything exactly. everything from here on out should just be super easy now for you. 
super easy. Super, yeah, super easy. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, if I can get through this year, I can get through now. Anything that, you know? and it, that is the truth, you know, <sighs> but um, I told the kids after oh, our oh, we got it. We got Hey, we got another friend mom. calling in here. <laughs> uh, let's take this call. Uh, this is, press one. I'm going to accept. This is Mr. Two. Metrio. David. Hi, I, just David. Could, <laughs> I could not call it. It was all my favorite people on the same call. Lauk, Nasir, Sean. I could not say something. I couldn't help myself. Well, we can only take one call at a time, I think. Uh, so oh, Sean man. has hung up, but we're glad that you're here, too. That's. Uh, um, I just wanted to say hi, and I want to say Nasir is the best, and you guys are the best, and I've really enjoyed <laughs> listening, and I'm always so impressed. With how much Nasir has been able to do in the middle of a pandemic, yeah. I uh, feel less than adequate every time we talk on the phone because he's always doing all the oh, things that's and so cool. trying to make it as normal as possible. And I'm just having a hard time getting over the getting over the the non traditionalness of all of this. So he's he's great, and I'm just yeah, yeah I just could I wanted to say hi. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, <laughs> And you know, you guys are both like my my little baby owls, and uh, super, oh. super super proud of both of you. What you guys are doing, it's all, it's so cool. Hootie hoo, hootie hoo, hootie hoo, hoo. Hi, well, I just want to say hi. I'll let y'all continue the podcast, but I could not say hi. Hi, friends. Hello. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'll call you later. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll uh, we'll oops, bye, buddy, bye. we'll air. Well, we will uh, talk to you later, buddy. All right, yep. cool. See y'all. Bye. 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 All right. So um, our first time uh, today, I'm getting this poor quality message in the uh, the streaming. Uh-huh. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know what else I can yeah. do, but we're about done. And, uh, again, thank you again this year for being on the show. And we, yeah, for the, for, I'm glad I was able to. Yeah, and it, was, it was great to have you. So for the Orchestra Teacher Podcast, we're signing off from our first live stream. Bye. Thank you for listening. To find resources and more information, visit our website at www.orchestrateacher.net.